Oh, um, I work on the initiative to help out Asian American and Pacific Islanders. So I outreach to um, uh, to Asian American communities um, on um, environmental justice um, challenges or uh, employment, uh, those kind of stuff. And which came first, the art or the or your um, activism within the EPA with Asian um, communities? Well, you know, I think I was born with the art thing. Okay. <laughs> so wherever I can, I try to put art into my work. Um, a few years ago, we started to teach kids to get kids to be involved in uh, environmental uh, education. One of the ways that I did that was to involve them into uh, environmental mural. So we do we work with kids uh, to paint in, uh, the murals and teach them the, the basic concept of the environment. My art is um, I use all recycle uh, material. All all the painting that I do are uh, my canvas is recycled. So I rescue the uh, old painting and I paint over it, but just leaving some of the essence behind, you know, some of the original artwork behind, so you can a little bit see through it, um, and 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 that. The reason behind that is because of my work, because I feel that we have so many painting already, and why let the old one sit in the closet or, or be tossed in the landfill? So I rescue them and, and then put more um, life into it. Now the the type of painting that I do is um, I growing up in Thailand I see a lot of issue um, with uh, human trafficking. So my painting is all about the girls who are subject to human traffic. Um, um, and these girls just, um, there's one girl in particular that I paint about and I call her Crazy Girl. Crazy Girl, um, I was about 8 or 10 and I didn't really understand the, that concept about, you know, selling the body or, or anything like that. So this girl, Crazy Girl, she um, would walk back and forth in front of me, and um, um, she was, um, um, yeah, my mom, my, well, my parents would tell me, you know, don't, you know, associate with her or whatnot, and, and I didn't really understand why. first met Crazy Girl when I was about 8 or 10, and um, she was, you know, she was very outgoing, very loud, and I was intrigued by her because I would see her walk back and forth at night. And, um, you know, there were other girls with her, but um, Crazy Girl always stayed, you know, separately. She would walk by herself and whatnot, and she was very loud. Um, and uh, they, the girls would be all dressed up, and I didn't understand why the girls would walk back and forth. They didn't go to buy food or anything, or they wouldn't go shopping. And I just look at them and think, what, you know, what are these girls doing? And they would walk back and forth. And then um, one day I saw a crazy, crazy girl um, run in, in, in the street naked, and she had bruise on her body and I asked my mom what was going on and my mom said oh we have to feel sorry for her because you know she tried to run away and they beat her up. I still didn't understand what was going on um, but I, I remember feeling really bad for her crazy girl. Then not too long after that um, I saw her again and she, her head was shaved off. She was bald and so my, my mom told me that oh they shaved her head because she tried to run away again. So, um, and maybe a few months after that, I found out that Crazy Girl did run away and the people at the bottle decided not to go after her anymore because they said, oh, she's a lost cause, she's just, you know, not worth the, the trouble. But we found out that Crazy Girl had a taxi waiting by my house with all her clothes there. And I remember being a child, I didn't know the whole, what was going on, but I remember thinking that I was really, really happy that she got away. So this is the reason why I, I paint. Um, and there's, I do a lot of paintings. And now this is a recycled canvas that I use here. Okay. And the bruises on here are stained the, uh, from the old canvas that I have. It's, it's, it's oil. So I kind of used that as the bruise to, to show that how she was, you know, um, 
where her body was bruised, and I left her naked here uh, because, um, you know, the, I, I remember her running in the street being naked and stuff. But, um, but I do remember being really happy. Here's another picture of her. Um, and I also had um, the pagoda and the Thai temple back here. And, uh, and that just, um, I put that in there because our town in Sia Cha in Thailand um, had, it was very religious, but I still didn't understand why the, you know, the churches, the temple, the pagoda, the, 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 they didn't help this girl or the girls like crazy girl. I never quite understand that. Uh, they, you know, the people at the temple are very, very kind. They take care of the animals and stuff, but for some reason, um, the girls who are trafficked into the, into the town, they're, they're not looked at or they're not being helped. They're just subject to that kind of life. Mm -hmm. So I do a lot of my painting on, on this.